no one's here, right? <laughs> <laughs> Man, I can totally see it now, those idiots. I can't wait to see the surprise look on their dumb faces. <laughs> but they'd probably be happy about it. They'd probably be very, very happy about it. Alrighty. <laughs> Enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. Morning, huh? In the end, I was worried about Fuyuhiko that I couldn't sleep. Homeboy got fucked! Involving himself in Peko's execution like that, suffering all his wounds. Is he really gonna be alive? And was it really okay to leave him in Monokuma's care? Where it has, uh, where he has consumed my heart, my body feels terribly burdened. But the worry isn't here. There's no way I can just lie here and do nothing. Losing my stiff bot, losing, loosening my stiff body, I slowly sat up in the bed. I guess I should head over to the restaurant. That's right. Just do it. I should meet up with everyone at the restaurant first, and then we'll question Monokuma afterwards. I'm definitely going to find out if Fuyuhiko is safe or not. I mean, I assume he's pretty safe. He did get fucked, though. Like, real bad. Uh, any faces to say good morning to? We got Sonya. And Sonya. Aw, oh, never mind. Good morning, Sonya. Huh? Hajime. Get back! What do you think I am? I am sorry. Uh, was that unintentional? It's okay, please be your usual self. Y yeah. That was close. I was gonna go to. What? I was really going to kneel before her. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. I'm so worried about Fuyuhiko that I couldn't sleep. That must be why my face looks terrible. I was just as embarrassed to be seen like this. I am ashamed! I shall go wash my face and come back one more time. Now then, ta-da! She looked like she normally does, but just as I thought, Sonya and I were worried about the same thing. Is Fuyuhiko really okay? Nah, he's fine. Let the man... Let the man, uh... I don't know. Shit, grieve? You in here, Chiki? Of course you are. Playing video games as always. How are you feeling today? After all that crazy shit went down. Good morning, Chucky. Hey. Yeah, good morning. You're up early than usual. Yeah, I couldn't really stay put and do nothing. Mm. I see. Gaming as usual. No, I have a slight feeling she's deliberately concentrating on her game. Like she's trying to keep her sadness from showing by being completely focused in gaming. Or is it just me? Well... Catch you later, Chucky. Man, after a murder, everything is just so sad and depressing and shit. Alright, let's see what you've been up to. What? Hajime? You're already here. Hayako, you're the only one here. Why are you acting so anxious about? I'm not acting anxious. I'm just, just happen to be awake by coincidence, so I just came here early. I see. This girl, there's something strange. Is she trying to pull some kind of dirty trick? Hmm. Well, still got like food in it. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? What the hell is this? A panel that's been propped up is giving off a dreadful, unsettling vibe. There's a bunch of photos pasted all over. Didn't Mahiru take these photos? But what's with the terrifying ambiance? Yay! Wow, what's this? 
What's what an adorable decoration? Um, I don't know who did it, but they must have spent so much time and effort doing their best to make it. <laughs> My hero's gonna be happy too. Uh, oh shit, she's in denial. I don't know who did this, but we should be grateful to them, right? Hey, Hayako, did you? Hello. Uh, good morning. It's so rare to run into you two here. Uh, what are you looking at? Huh? Ah! Uh, what are with these horrifying photos? I expected that reaction. Yo, what happened? What's up? What's up? Is it a brawl? Yo, what's with all the ruckus in the morning? This is bad. Please take a look at those photos. Huh? Photos? Whoa, what the hell? Hey, 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 hey! What kind of ominous crap is this? Is this like something you use for sorcery? Mm. Mm. This is clearly an insulting an ins uh, an insult against Mahiru. I don't know who the hell did this crap, but they gotta have a lot of nerve. Uh, this is too much to actually treat Mahiru's photos like this. Uh, everyone, I understand how you guys feel, but it's probably. Good morning, everyone. You still say that shit? Damn it. Good mongrel. Uh, what's with those nasty photos? They're giving off crazy huge ominous aura. Something like this. There's no excuse. This is terrible. How could someone be capable of such a heartless trick? No, seriously guys, it's just hey. I know, right? Seriously. It's just the worst. Jeez, I wonder who the hell did it. Huh? Mm -hmm. You're right, there's no way my hero will be happy with this. <laughs> She wouldn't be. Uh, she won't. Uh, wait, what? She won't just be unhappy. I'm sure she'll be angry. She'll cry tears of blood. Man, who the hell did this? No. no. We'll have to search for the criminal later. In the meantime, fire! Start the fire! We'll have the grand bonfire so Mahiro can reach Nirvana. Seriously, this is. You can't. Someone took their time to make this memorial so we can mourn for Mahiro. You can't burn it. Uh. Mourn Mahiru. What the heck? You sure it's not the other way around? I'm pretty sure whoever made this is totally disrespecting Mahiru. Think so? Really? I think it's just a little clumsy. Me? Why don't you take a closer look at the intent instead of the focusing on the appearance? Perhaps. Despite their clumsiness, I'm sure whoever made it probably did their very best. If you look at it carefully, don't you feel like you can sense their feelings? Mahiru's not alone. She'll be with us now and forever. This was probably made with those feelings. Right? So I definitely think... Yep, it's a nice decoration. I see. After hearing you say that, I'm starting to feel the same thing. Ooh. You sure are simple-minded. <laughs> I don't really want to burn it. Huh? Huh? Be. Uh, was the person who made this... My hero was really, really nice. She politely taught me how to tie a kimono. She was really good at taking care of others. My hero is probably lonely by herself. So I wanted to tell her that she's not alone, even if she's in heaven. Uh, Hayako, you... I didn't want to make it look better, but... Uh, but unless I'm dancing, I'm so clumsy at whatever I do. I'm so sorry. I'm totally sorry. I spoke out of turn without considering your feelings at all. <laughs> sorry, Hayaka. I I'm sorry. No. How should I put this? It looks like we misunderstood. <laughs> now that I take a closer look, it looks like you put a lot of thought into the decoration. For now. So, let's keep this thing around until we get off this island. No. No, it should come with us when we get off the island, too. It would be a waste to leave behind such wonderful photos. So we're not going to burn it? Possible. Of course not. We would never burn it. You. Weren't you the one who started shouting like that? I got it. Fine. Then I'll forgive you all. Except me, Khan, of course. Why, why are you so strict on me? I see. I see. Man, so unexpected. Meow. I really can't imagine Hayako being a diligent and in earnest about something. <laughs> who cares about that? <laughs> Hayako has a very kind heart. No, she doesn't. Kind? Oh, come on. It's not like that. Nope, it's not like that at all. Jeez. 
Jeez, stop it already. Ah, uh, you don't have to be embarrassed. Seriously, stop it. Don't tease me. Ah, uh, Hayaka is so adorable when she's embarrassed. Shut the fuck up, you pig face troll. Why only me? What? Why only. <laughs> Why are you so mean to me, Con? Come on, man. At any rate, I hope this is finally settled now. It's very like you guys to settle things like this. Huh? Really? It feels like we made such a huge fuss about it and finally settled things. And that's just like you guys. Little by little, we're trying to understand and find the good in each other. That's the reason why we can move forward without feeling despair towards any situation. Yep, you guys are splint- Speaking about despair, where the fuck is Komaeda? Is he still running around freely? Splendid, huh? His body is I've arrived. Apologies for the wait. What? what? What is this object that is releasing such a foul aura? <laughs> nice timing. Impossible. <sighs> a, a malice clings to Mahiru even after her death. We'll be sucked in if we look directly at it. The worst. Wow, this is very hopeless object. It doesn't belong in a hopeful place like this at all. It's absolutely brimming with malice. Let's just hurry and destroy it. I can't stand to look at it even one more second. I'll destroy you! Stand aside, I'll shatter this barbaric plump through his false idol to pieces. <laughs> Damn, guys. Now that those two are here, do you think we're, we were splendid? Uh, looks like it's going to take a little more time. I completely agree. The scene unfolded in front of me. I was so embarrassed that all I can do is sigh. But at least it was a peaceful scene. However, we didn't realize just how short-lived this peace would be. Even though we were finally bonding, a situation was brewing like a huge fracture running between us all. And that would be the trigger for a truly horrible and atrocious incident. Not just for me, but for every single one of us. We just hadn't realized it yet. Oh, I'm stuffed. I can't eat another damn bite. Hey. Man, you sure do eat a lot. Do you ever worry about, like, choking? Yo. I never get worried. <laughs> you don't? Wait, what about Fuyuhiko? Um. Is he really alright? I was so, so concerned. I couldn't sleep at all last night. Plus, if his fate is in Monokuma's paws, I'm even more concerned. <laughs> uh, if only I could tend to his wounds somehow. I wish I wasn't so useless. Well, I don't think you guys should worry about it. Do you just forget everything that happens when you eat? All right. Now that I've got a belly full of food, I'm all set. So, leave the rest to me. I'm questioning Monokuma and avenge for Yuhiko. Avenge? He's not even dead. Jeez. What vengeance? You just want to test your skill. Well, yeah. <laughs> she flat out admitted it. Okay, everyone, can I have your attention, please? Are we just gonna let Komaeda run freely? Meaningless. Oh, it's you, Monomi. What do you want? Jeez. Man, the fun mood's over now, thanks to you. Huh? Did I just ruin the mood? Jeez, don't treat me so harshly. I did my very best today, too. Huh? Who the hell are you? We're talking about something important, so go away. Okay, I'm sorry. Wait, no! I am definitely don't want to be treated like an outsider. Just what do you want? What do you mean by I didn't? I did my very best? Oh, uh, you finally asked me. Well, once again, I defeated another mono beast. How do you like me now? I worked hard, didn't I? If you defeated a mono beast, then that means... That's right! You're not able to visit yet another island. So, let's all live happily after ever... Uh, let's all live happily ever after with each other this time, okay? No more getting tricked by Monokuma. No more thinking about leaving this island. Let's all live together peacefully as best friends. A new island, huh? Maybe now we'll finally find it. A way to get off this island and go home. No, that's the only thing we have. That's our one and only hope. Huh? Are you guys thinking about leaving the island even though I just said not to? More importantly, Monomi, what happened to Fuyuhiko? Huh? Fuyuhiko? Uh, you see, I don't really know. I won't be fooled! Miss Sonya... Can't you see it's a waste of time asking her? In the end, she's just Monokuma's ally. Fiend. You're also part of a mysterious world-ended organization, aren't you? Hey! That's the organization that brought us to this island, right? 
Since you're the one who brought us to this island, this gotta be it. Hey, I don't know if you're a rabbit or a pig, but just what are you planning? This is a great opportunity. It's time to finally fill us in. Huh? What a dilemma, but that's the one thing I can't say. Truly, this is a strate- oh fuck. Truly, this is a tragedy of middle management. Hold on a sec! She ran away again? She's always like this when things come inconvenient for her. Well, who cares about Monomi? More importantly, she mentioned the new island. What should we do, guys? However, I don't think we should be exploring with Fuyuhiko's in danger. But we must move forward no matter what despair stands in our way. That's what hope should be. What hope? You always say that just before you lead us into a trap. There's something wrong with you. Jeez, you're surely just an annoying as Makuma. Hey, hey. I'm also worried about Fuyuhiko, but is it really okay if we just stay here and do nothing? Isn't it better if we... Uh, blah, 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 can't speak. Isn't it better if we do what we can? What can we do? Huh, she's right. Let's try to find a way off the island before he comes mm. back. Hmm. You are right. You're right. Fuyuhiko will not recover any faster if we just stand around and do nothing. <laughs> I agree with Miss Sonya. Right. Then a society, let's explore and search for a new hope. Wait. Uh, we shouldn't... Uh, shit. So, wouldn't it be faster if we just beat up the rest of the mono beasts and search all the islands and go Wait on? If the straight-looking rabbit can defeat one, it should be easy for us Hold to. On. Hey, don't think about anything reckless. <laughs> anyway, let's begin. Let's, let's open the way to hope-filled future with the very own hands. I love how Komaya is just freely to walk around now. Anyways... After all that, I feel that we're doing exactly what Nagito wants us to do. In order to prepare for exploring the new island, we left the restaurant. Okay. Well, time to go explore, I guess. I did a complete fucking 360. Anyways, um, shit. Where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? No one knows. Well, let me check on this pet. Are you dead yet? Ah, huh, I'm surprised you're not dead. Alright. Uh, map. Let's see. We can, uh, leave this area. Island 2. Central Island. Okay. Oh, third island. Well, there we go. Monomi was right. The mono beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. Then if we cross the bridge, we should reach the new island. With the feeling of hope in my heart the oversh uh, that overshadowed any lingering fear of nervousness I felt. I crossed the bridge that led to the new island. What the fuck am I looking at? The ambiance is completely different compared to the previous islands. Does that say Titty Typhoon? What the fuck? Hmm. The residents and ruins are all in shambles. It barely feels like a resort. And not just that, there's definitely no signs of any people here either. It feels a little dangerous somehow. It might be better to proceed cautiously. Oh, wow. It's, it's straight up just like a deserted island. What the fuck, man? Oh, hospital. Maybe for your echoes on here. Hello? Is anybody in the hospital? By the name of Fuyuhiko? Uh, looks like it's in the hospital lobby. The ambulance feels like something out of a horror film. Uh, ambiance. Ambiance. It feels like something out of a horror film. I definitely, I definitely don't want to be patient here. Oh shit! Don't do that. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, I'm sorry I scared you. No, Mikan, you can scare me whenever you want. I love you. But don't worry. Even if you have a heart attack from getting too scared, this is a hospital after all. The moment I have a heart attack, I definitely have something I need to be worried about. But this hospital is a little strange. I can't find any doctors, nurses, or patients anywhere. Just as I thought, here too. Damn it. There's nobody here either. What's going on with this island? Uh, I know I saw the medical supplies are still here, and I'm not sure they'll be use. They'll be useful unless we check them. Uh, that means I need to check them, right? Understood. I'll go ahead and do that in a flash, so please don't hate me. Mikan frantically ran to the other end of the dark hall and disappeared, making a huge fuss as she left. I guess that means it's okay to leave this place to her, huh? Oh, Gundam's here too. That's cool. I'm gonna check this. There's a paper on a bulletin board. Apparently it's a hospital notice, but there's uh, no one on the, on the island, so who's the note for? Okay. 
I was just gonna check the note and see if it said patient or uh, hospital hallway. Oh, well, let's go in there. Sorry, Gundam, I don't feel like talking to you right now. The patient room is, uh, the patient room and consolation room. Am I saying that right? Consolation room are beyond this point. All right, well, it's fine if I leave it to me, Con. Okay, well, that's cool. All right, Gundam, let's see what you gotta say. <laughs> uh, of all people, it seems I have immersed myself in nostalgia. This place is similar to the place where the mark of defeating the devil was carved into my body long ago. The mark of defeating the devil? I have said too much. Forget what you heard for your sake. He was the one who volunteered the information and now he's already telling me to forget it. Ah. Well, that's cool. Goodbye! I'm leaving this area. See you guys later, fuckers. Alright, well, let's we'll see what else we got in this deserted island. Titty Typhoon! Fucking Titty Typhoon. God damn it. This building with the gaudy and tasteless neon lights obviously looks suspicious. I can't say for sure there's no danger. I should cautiously check what's inside. I have a feeling we're gonna see Ibu Ibuki inside here. This seems like her type of place. Anyways, let's see what we got. Oh, there's Ibuki. What the? Why are you shouting so suddenly? Don't surprise me like that. The truth is overwhelming that I can't help shouting out. Cause this is a music venue, right? Yeah, it looks like it. I never expected to find a music venue. I can't help feeling excited. I never expected to find a music venue. I can't help feeling excited. You said it twice. Huh? Did I just say that twice? Yes, you did. Huh? Huh? Did I? Ah, oh, fucking you, bitch. Are you okay? You're giving off some weird no vibes. Problemo. Not at all. I'm totally fine. Problemo. Not at all. I'm totally fine. Crap. Huh? Did I just say that twice again? Huh? Did I just say that twice again? You don't look very okay. Man, with the venue like this, Ibuki has no choice but to lend a helping hand. This is just the beginning. I'll invite everyone to find this wonderful feeling. Wait, to find this wonderful feeling? To feel this wonderful feeling? My bad. It's like it's like the smug feeling you get when you explain something with elaborate metaphor no one can understand. I feel like I understand, but at the same time I don't understand. Oh well, if you really talk if you're really taking a liking to this music venue, I'll let you I'll let you investigate it. Fucking do it. Leave it to me! Let me bite ya. Wait, what? I'm tired. I should hurry up and go check the other place. I don't know why she wants to bite me so bad. Uh so I can leave this place to her. What's back here? Stay. Does it say stay out? Staff only. Okay, it says staff only on the door. It's probably some sort of storage room. I might as well check inside. Click clank. Oh, a lot of guitars in here and shit. There's a lot of different instruments here, including drum sets and a guitar. Looks like the stage designs. Uh, shit. <coughs> Looks like there's stage design stuff too. Paint, stage lights, wallpaper on curtains. I guess there's nothing special here I need right now. Nope. Got some stickers. What are this for? There's a lot of stickers. We have a venue logo placed here. Okay. Are, is no one gonna is no one gonna talk about how this place is called the Teddy Typhoon? Really? Teddy Typhoon. It's so stupid. God damn it. What a splendid place, Hajime! This must be f uh, the fabled disco. Disco? It's where hip youngsters wear feathered hats and tight clothes as they dance their go-go's and what the fuck? Ugh. <coughs> I have no clue what Sonya's talking about. She's very weird. Goodbye, guys! I'll leave this place to you! As I'm looking at these places, I'm just thinking, like, where's the next murder gonna take place? Alright, what's over here? Got some... Oh, motel. Alright. Well, let's see who's in the motel. Oh, hey, it's you. 
It's a small building with guest uh, accommodations and a parking lot. This is supposed to be a motel, right? You know, besides for the big sign that says motel. I've seen them before in movies, but this is my first time actually seeing one in person. <laughs> wow, what a random motel. Looks pretty unsanitary, too. It's just like Hajime's house. You bastard. You see my house? I mean, you never see my house. Oh, I didn't know you were here. You don't stand out at all. I didn't notice you. <laughs> Anyways, this place is seriously run down. It's like the perfect home for minimum wage workers. That's a bit harsh, don't you think? But we gotta make sure we check it out thoroughly. It's possible that there might be a clue here. If you think so, why don't you go inside and look around instead of standing around and doing nothing? Hey. You're probably too vulgar to get this, but there's a saying. Praise a fool and you make and you may make him useful. Wait, what? What's that supposed to be? Oh. Akane was checking out the inside after I gave her a little praise, she got really excited about it. A dumbass like her is pretty rare, so we gotta make sure she's treated well. If her rotten attitude is this extreme, I can't really take it personally. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna go check the motel out. Goodbye. It's a bunch of similar looking private rooms. It's dark and slightly dirty. Okay. If it's just a stay in night, the cottage is good enough. Alright, well... Is there really... Is she checking it in there by herself? I can't. There's no reason for me to go to the motel. Alright, well. Good luck with your uh, search, I guess. Alright, what's the next building? What do we got here? A town? Electric Ave. You gotta move it. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Uh, there are a bunch of street boots filled with electric appliances at the back of a narrow alleyway. Machines and other parts are cluttered together on display. It definitely seems fishy. But wait, there's more! With this many machines, we can probably find something we can use for two-way communication, right? Looks like it's best if we search around here. Then I'll check the laptop corner. Burst desktops and laptop computers are arranged in a disorderly manner, like a pile of oversized trash. Though they're a little old-fashioned and run down, they look like they can still be used. I know, if we can connect to the internet, we might be able to call for help with these. As soon as I thought that, I grabbed the random laptop, pulled it out of the pile, turned it on. I tried to see if we can connect to the internet, but no dice. It's no use. Looks like it's not connecting. Well, there's no way it'd be that easy, but just when I was about to give up, my eyes notice a strange icon arranged on the desktop. Isumi X file? What the hell is this? Without thinking, I clicked on the strangely named icon. It's a document file. Based on the format, it looks like it's some kind of report. I scanned across the worst display on the screen. About the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. This horrendous event originated, originated with some students of Hope Peak Academy causing a revolt. The students of the reverse department were dissatisfied with being treated differently than the primary department and began to fight the academy. At first, the dispute was confined to the campus <clears throat> was confined to the campus and hopes were high that it would settle down someday. But things really escalated. Be behind the scenes of the rebellion, a huge authority was exerting its influence. Eventually, it spread like an infection, provoking riots in various parts of the world. It was unlike any previous act of terrorism or coup de gras. Uh, it seemed it has a has a much different purpose. <coughs> I'm sorry, I need like something to drink. Jesus Christ. However, no matter what we assume, we cannot. Uh, shit. Where was I? I lost my place. We cannot apply reason to this submissive movement. What? Well, not submissive. What the word? Sub subverse subversive. Subversive movement. Nonetheless, the destruction is not chaotic nor disorganized. It is both purposeful and malicious. Therefore, it is service. Oh, fuck. Service moment for full despair. Host Peak Academy became the origin of the incident and was forced to put an end to their long history. As far as the students who survived, they were forced to kill each other. As a lesson in despair. It's no use. The word 
The words are too gerbled. Garbled? Grabbled. To read beyond this point. Okay, well, that's some insight. Because I know in the first game they tell you about the most tragic event that ever happened in human history, but they never went into detail. The only person who really knew much about it was Genocide Jack. And she uh, she really didn't remember most of it because after a couple of minutes, Toko took over. So they didn't really go into detail, but now that I know it originated at Hoax Peak Academy, it starts to make a little more sense. And I assume that Miss Inoshima was one of the causes that it started up. But what is this? Ugh, oh, how normal. It's not normal like a dog barking. It's such a normal reaction that it's actually quite novel. Hey, can't you react with more gusto? Don't you know how very, very important this scene is? Could it be? Were you here the whole time? Were you the one who created this shit? My, my. What makes you think that? Because it's obvious that the only thing I can think of. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history, riots in various parts of the world, and Homespeak Academy getting destroyed, it sounds like something, sounds like something stupid you made up. And, and? What's Homespeak Academy's reserve department? I've never, I never ever heard of something like that before. It's crazy. Huh? Really? That's weird. Of all people, you should definitely be the only one who knows about it. What do you mean? I guess you forgot about it. Along with the memories of your school life, so it can't be helped. While we're on the subject of stupid things, that file said something about students who survived? Is that... is it referencing us? Then the rest of the file is... Hold on a second, you guys. Just what the heck you guys been talking about? It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Movies with no images, music with no sound, novels with no words. These are things that truly don't make any sense. So, you can't say something this simple doesn't make any sense. Who cares about that? Just answer me. Who are the students who survived? Oh. I wouldn't know any important story like that, because the only thing I'm good for is being cute. Damn it. He ran away again. Uh. Hey, Hajime. Don't worry, it's going to be fine. I'm sure he's making it all up. That's it. It's definitely it. You know what? I'm not... Like, mm. You know what? I'm really happy that Kazuchi actually has survived this long. <laughs> Cause to be honest, I thought he would be the first one to go. <laughs> I'm a little happy at that. Oh hey Chiki, you're here. Were you here the whole time? What the fuck, man, we didn't say anything? Somehow it looks like she's fishing uh she's fishing things out of a pile of electronic electronic appliances. Cheeky, what happened? Are you looking for something? Well? Yeah, I was wondering if there was any game consoles in here. Something old hardware is treated like junk. Oh, sometimes old hardware shit. Yeah, I know. And so that's what you're doing. I already have a TV in my cottage, so it doesn't have to be a non-portable device. I've settled for anything. If you do find something, let me know. I'll help you carry it back to your cottage. Yeah, I will. But I don't want to play video games for a while. I'd rather not be reminded of a previous incident. Yeah, cell phone corner. What's this? So this is a cell phone corner, huh? Looks like they don't get reception, even with all the variety. Uh, even with all this variety, they may as well be paperweights. All right. Uh, Cheeky's checking that out. Oh, hey, uh, Kazuchi, what's up? Huh? Uh, are you serious? Are you shitting me? What happened? I thought you'd be happier about being surrounded by so much machinery. Ah, uh, don't say such stupid things. I'm the ultimate mechanic, you know. Of course I'm happy with being around machines. Then you should look happier. Dude, try to understand how I feel. I have this unexplainable, conflicting feeling about whether or not I should be happy. I can't understand what kind of feeling. But why? Why do you feel conflicted? There's all this machinery lined up here. Hot ah, damn, I want to take them apart. I want to dismantle them and look inside. That's how I usually think, right? Oh, man. But... I know now's not the time for me to do something like that, and that's why I feel so conflicted. Is wanting to dismantle normal? Hell yeah, it's like if you have the hots for a chick, you want to take off her clothes, right? Wow! Oh god! Get into the basis of things! And you want to check out her bone structure, right? Like her ribs or where parts of her bones stick out, right? That sounds kind of weird, but I also can kind of understand what he's getting at. That's not normal. That's pretty aerobic sex fetish. 
Ah, uh, acrobatic sex fetish. I love you it. Serious? Seriously? Uh. Don't worry, Kazuchi. I understand you a little bit. A little bit. Not not to the not to the high degree, but I understand where you're coming from. I see. So wanting to see a chick's bone structure makes me feel, makes me a little pervert. Pretty much. Ah, don't worry, Kazuchi. You just like girls with a nice body, I guess. So you're just interested in things like that. Anatomy or some shit. I don't know. I don't care. Alright, let's go! Let's leave this area. 